Yes guys, Max here back again with a brand new video and today we are going to be ranking the Euro 2024 home kits. The Euros is right around the corner and I personally can't wait for it. Can you? That was really, really like advertisement -y. I don't know, what was that intro? 24 teams, 24 kits to get through. If you want to see me do this for the away kits, put it down below. Starting off with the host nation, Germany. Personally, I really like what Adidas have done with this shirt. It's got the Germany colours around the top of the shirt with the traditional white. It's a very, very nice shirt. And also the away kit's very nice. But again, like I said, I will rank the away kits if you want me to. This Germany home kit for the host nation, personally, I'm a massive fan. It's going right at the top in beauty. Now, this turkey kit is absolutely horrific. It genuinely, to me, it looks like a pyjama top. It looks just, they've got the, the turkey emblem a little bit there, the Nike underneath, just a red, it's literally a white t-shirt with a red stripe. No effort, clearly, so you know what that means. It goes in the no effort tier. Next up, we've got Albania, and personally, I'm a massive, massive fan. I like the colour. I like the sort of design they've got. Normally, I don't really like that sort of red colour on a shirt, um, but I've seen it on the players. I've seen it in real life in the shops. I'm a massive, massive fan. I'm not really sure what the pattern is on the shirt. I just really like it. I like uh, what Macron have done with this shirt. The collar's nice, the black trimmings on the sleeves as well. It's going to go in looking dapper. Just, just shy of the top tier. The Portugal home kit is pretty boring, isn't it? We're going to put it in okay. It's just, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty boring Portugal kit. But again, sometimes simplicity is the best. And I think it does look quite clean. Not a fan of this one. Romania's home shirt for the upcoming competition. It's, I think, the same kit they've used the past few years. And they're going to continue using it for this competition as well. To me, that just shows no effort using the same kit you have done for the past few years. I get it sometimes, but a brand new tournament, come on, you weren't even in the World Cup. Make a brand new kit. Scotland's home kit, um, I quite like it. It's going to go in looking dapper next to the Albania shirt. Um, again, I like the pattern. It's sort of a checkered pattern, but it's not too... I like the yellow. I think it goes really well together. I think Scott McTominay is going to bag a few goals in this shirt. Czech Republic, I mean, it's going to go in meh because I'm, I've not really made my mind up and it's just meh. It's just a meh kit. I don't really have any opinions on it. I mean, the design's quite nice, I guess. I think it's probably the best Puma shirt out of the lot in here. Now, this one is the shirt I'm actually wearing. And for me, it's actually the best home kit of the whole video. It's the best kit of Euro 2024 home kit, that is, anyway, because there is a few away kits that might rival it. I've got it on right now. It is the Belgium home kit for the upcoming Euros. Got the patches on it as well. It's, it's a very, very nice shirt. Um, both Belgian kits are nice. Again, like I said, I need to stop reiterating it. If you want to see the away one, I'll rank that one as well. Why do I keep saying it? I can't help myself. I think the maroon with the black, it's so clean. It's like a god of Belgium has made this kit. I really, really like it. Weirdly, I like this one as well, the Slovakia home kit. It's actually going to go in looking dapper. Am I, am I really weird for putting it that high? I, I, I don't know why. I really like the blue and the red. I think it contrasts quite well together. I like how they've got the badge here and then they've got the actual... No, no, sorry, they've got the badge here and they've got the flag there, is it? Something like that. They've got two emblems with a night tick. They've got three things across. It looks quite good. I mean, I say that. There's a few other shirts in here that have got that exact pattern that I don't like. I think it's just basically the colour. I think that's the reason I like it. Denmark home kit, quite retro. It's looking like an old school kit. It's going to go in okay. Pretty boring, but I do like the, the, in terms of history, the nostalgia around it. France home kit, again, it's going to go in the middle as well. The... Badge is too big. The badge is way too big on the shirt. The colours are right, but again, it's just pretty boring. You, you need to see what it looks like on the players, you know, when they've got the, the number in the middle of the shirt. I think that sort of adds to it because a lot of these shirts, obviously, they don't have sponsors in the national team. So we're basically relying on them to add a bit more. And with that France kit, there's nothing really to it. Georgia's home kit is up next. This is their debut in the competition, but I think they've stuck with their roots and kept the same kit like they have done for the past few seasons. So it's going to go in no effort. I was expecting a very monumental kit. Your first time qualifying for the Euros. I wanted, I wanted better. 
Austria's home kit is going to go in Met. Basically the same as the Czech Republic one, isn't it? Just, again, a pattern on a red shirt. It's just different trimmings. Both Puma kits, white trimmings on the Austrian one, blue on the Czech Republic one. They're basically the same kit. Again, Austria have had some banging kits in the past, and this one... Yeah, it's not living up to those expectations I had. Again, I weirdly like this hungry one. It's going to go in looking dapper. I don't know why I like it. I, re I genuinely don't know why I like it. It's the emblem. It's the flag. It's the badge in the middle, the Adidas logo. Um, yeah. Netherlands kit. I'm going to put it in May, you know. I really don't like it, to be fair. Um, it could go in nowhere. No, it's going to go in May. I don't like the colour of the badge. I don't like the pattern. I don't really like it. Italy's home kit is going to go in looking dapper. I think it's quite nice. You always get banging Italy kits. It's the blue, it's the green, it's the red at parts. It's just a very, very clean football shirt. England's home kit, it's clean, but it's going to go in okay because as an England fan, I want to see an absolute stormer of a kit. I know we're just it's just a white kit and that's always what it's going to be. But again, in the past, we've had a few decent patterns and this one isn't really doing it for me. It's just okay. I'm still going to buy it, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I just wanted something better. This Croatia kit for me is probably the one of the worst kits in this whole lot. It might be the worst. It is so boring. Like They always have red and white checkers, but they've always been a bit unique in the past. This one is just... It's so boring. Poland's kit is going to go in no effort as well. I don't like it. And it's, again, it's like the Turkey one, isn't it? They've just got the badge... And the tick. Um, it reminds me of the England kit in 2021. Ukraine up next, and that's going to go in okay. I think it's all right. I like the stripes going down. I really like Ukraine's badge as well. Um, I don't know if you can see that. You can well, I'll put a picture on the screen now. I really like their badge, the crest on the on the shirt. It does go well. And yellow, I'm a massive fan of yellow shirts. I've always been. So I think Adidas have done all right with this one. Serbia are going to go in Met. Again, it's very similar to Austria and Czech Republic, and I didn't really like them ones. Slovenia is going to go in okay. I actually think it's all right. I don't really know what that is in the middle. Can someone let me know what that is? They've got a stripe coming up through the middle. Am I doing it a bit of... Am I, I'm, mm, I don't know. Am I overrating this shirt a little bit? Nah, we'll keep it in okay for now. I might change my mind, but I probably won't. The Switzerland kit, again, it's going to go in okay as well. Uh, again, Puma have done all right with this one. I like how it grade the gradient of red going down towards the bottom of the shirt. They've got the stripes. I do like the collar as well. It's quite clean. And finally, the Spain shirt is going to go in looking dapper. Spain, again, always do have good shirts. I think they've got the right colours. Red and yellow, Spain. It just screams Spain, doesn't it? So you can always get a good shirt with Spain. That is my final ranking. Only two shirts make it into the top tier. Let me know what you think. That's where we'll leave it. See you next time.